Hi guys, this is Michelle and I am back with my week 20 update. Today is a very special update for several reasons. Um, number one is because I'm going to talk about WLSFA, but then the other reason is that today just so happens to be one year from the very first time that I went to my bariatric clinic and I had my first appointment with my surgeon and also the first appointment with the nutritionist. So on May 24th of 2016, I started my whole journey at 286.8. Then about seven months later, I had my surgery on January 4th of 2017 at Banner Gateway Medical Center here in Arizona. My surgeon was Dr. Albert Chin. On the day of surgery, I was 251.8 pounds. Today, I was 211.8 pounds. And so that was a 0.4 pound gain from last week. And I actually did not do a video last week, so I'm really sorry about that. I got too busy uh, to do one before I went to WLSFA. My weight last week was actually a 0.8 pound loss. So for week 19, I had lost 0.8 pounds, and now for week 20, I had gained 0.4 pounds, which I actually consider pretty good because it's only been two days since WLSFA. I got home late on Sunday night, and so, you know, I've only had Monday and Tuesday to get back on track with my eating and you know now my weight is only up by 0.4 pounds so I'm very pleased with that. So that means that in one year from the start of my whole journey I have lost 75 pounds and since surgery 20 weeks ago I have lost exactly 40 pounds. So actually yeah that works out to an average of exactly two pounds a week which I guess that's pretty good. So, let me start talking about WLSFA. Um, I really wish that I had gotten a chance to do a video before the event, and it act that had actually been my intention, uh, because I think it would have been very interesting for you guys, and also for me, to be able to look back and see exactly how I felt before the event, and then, um, the actuality of what actually happened at the event. But I'll give you just um, a little bit of background on how I was feeling before WLSFA. I was nervous. I was very, very nervous. Um, wait, let me take away some of those berries. I was just very nervous. Now, at first when I had made my reservation for WLSFA, I had made my reservation in November. So even before I had my surgery, and at the time, the reason that I felt confident doing it was because I had already decided that I was going to talk one of, one of my friends into going with me. Um, I had mentioned it to her. She wasn't positive about it, but she seemed like she was leaning more towards going than not going. And I was pretty sure that, you know, eventually that she was just going to say yes and she was going to come. And so I knew that no matter what happened at the event, if I had my really good friend there, then everything was going to be okay. Well, as we got closer to the event and um, I was looking again, you know, because I had, I had purchased my ticket, but of course she hadn't purchased hers because she didn't know if she was going yet. But when I started looking at the airfare, the cost of the airfare, plus the cost of the conference ticket, I really felt guilty about asking my friend to come because I didn't know what she was going to get out of this um, for that money. You know, even though the money is for a good cause, you know, when you add the airfare on there, um, that was just a lot. And so I released her from her obligation as a friend to join me. So then at that point, I was kind of freaking out mentally. I, I probably would have just canceled if it wasn't for the fact that I had already mentioned a couple of times 
on my videos that I was going to come to WLSFA. Um, it was very early out that I had mentioned it, but I didn't want someone to ask me later, you know, didn't you say you were going and why didn't you go? So I felt like I was trapped and I had to go, but I was really nervous because I don't do very well with crowds and large groups of people. Um, really, okay, if this was like a conference for work and I didn't know anyone there and I wasn't really expected to interact with people, if my only function was to go and sit in workshops and not really talk to anyone, uh, then I wouldn't be as nervous because to me, that's not a big deal. I, you know, I travel a lot by myself. I do a lot of things by myself. I'm used to that. But having to interact with a bunch of people, that's what was making me nervous. People that uh, might know me because they've watched my videos and I don't really know them. Or even the people that I feel like I know because I've watched their videos, but then of course I don't really know these people and so I was just I was very nervous about the whole thing and um, also I'm one of these people that I'm really just better at very small groups or one-on-one -on -one situations um, I tend to be quiet and kind of reserved when I'm around people and so I was just a little bit nervous about how I was going to be able to interact in groups and talk to people and so that actually was enough that I, if I had not said that I was going, I'm pretty sure that I would have just canceled my ticket. Um, well, not canceled my ticket, but I just wouldn't have come. And that just would have been a donation. And I wouldn't have mentioned to probably any of you guys um, that I had even purchased the ticket in the first place. However, as I started getting closer to the day of the event, um, I really got very lucky in having two fantastic roommates. So I originally had gotten a room with a double bed because, uh, with two beds because I thought that my friend was going to come. Um, and then when I realized that she wasn't going to come, then I needed a roommate. And I can't believe just how lucky I was. I mean, I watch hundreds of YouTube channels, and if I were to actually rank the top five people that I would like to meet or that I would love to have as a roommate, the two people that I was rooming with would have been one of those top five people. I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, how lucky can you be? And so my roommates were Foodie Turn Sleevy and Cindy from Cindy VSG. So once I knew that they were going to be my roommates, I felt a whole lot better. Um, you know, because if worse comes to worse, I could just kind of like glue myself onto them. <laughs> and uh, then hopefully I wouldn't have to, to worry um, about the social situations. But it turned out I didn't even have to do that. Uh, so before I talk about WLSFA, I want to quickly back up just for one second because I don't think that I ever got a chance to talk about um, how a couple of weekends ago, I had met with Ange from Lost Ange Found. Uh, so she was the first YouTuber that I had ever met. And I really wanted to meet her before WLSFA. And so we got together, we went out for salad, and then we walked over to a Ross and just had a lot of fun talking and trying on clothes. Um, if, you're, if you follow me or her on Instagram, then you would have seen um, one of the pictures that she posted and, well, and I posted also, but then she also did a little video of us in the dressing room. I'm going to go ahead and put a snapshot right here. So we really had a lot of fun that day and she gave me um, some tips uh, for WLSFA because I had told her how I was a little bit nervous about it. And um, so with knowing that I knew Ange and then having some tips from her and then having knowing that I was going to have these two fantastic roommates, I really did feel a whole lot better about the whole event. 
And so it turned out that my flight and Cindy's flight uh, that we arrived in Portland right around the same time. And so we had already decided that we were going to meet up at the airport and then, um, you know, catch a cab to the hotel. Uh, just, you know, yeah, catch a cab to the hotel. So Cindy was the second person, the second YouTuber that I met. Now, the funny thing is, is that when our cab pulled up at the hotel, you know, we were like, it didn't say that it was the Hilton, and we're like, is this the Hilton? And the cab driver was like, yeah, uh, it, it, yeah, it is. And, you know, Cindy and I looked at each other like, I didn't really, you know, we didn't exactly believe him. But there was a doorman or a bellman or whoever, he was standing right outside the door. So when we got out of the cab, we asked him if it was the correct hotel. And he said, yes, it's the correct hotel, the hotel that recently changed its name. And so we're like, okay, so we go in and it turns out that the check-in desk was busy. So we're standing there and looking around the lobby and like to me the hotel seemed too small to be a convention hotel. And Cindy said it didn't look like the pictures and I couldn't actually remember what the pictures looked like. And there was a security guard standing there. So Cindy went up to the security guard to ask him if we were in the right place. And the security guard says we're in the right place and uh, they've just renovated and so that's why it doesn't look like the pictures, but you know, we're in the right place So we're still standing there thinking this Just does not seem right, but you know the check-in line was taking a very long time So guess who ends up coming to our rescue? Jody <laughs> PSG Jody. So then that was the first time that I got to meet her when she came to the hotel and rescued us and Walked us over to the correct hotel, which fortunately was just like across the street and Then when we got to the lobby uh, Foodie turn sleevey was there to meet us and so that was my first introduction to this whole thing and so yeah, I was feeling very confident. I mean, Jody was just as nice as um, she seems on the videos. I mean, she came and rescued us. Um. <laughs> okay, so I don't want this to be too long, but I did take two clips from uh, the very first full day of the conference in my hotel room. One is of an NSV and one is of a special visitor that we had to our room on that day. So take a look at this clip. This is my first morning in Portland and I can't believe that the towel actually fit all the way around me. Yay. Who are you? Look who's in my hotel room. Hi. Yay. Look. Hey. Yay. I'm the luckiest person in the world. Oh, nice. We are having a blast. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, me. Right? But then when we went, when we went downstairs. Okay, so of course I expected to be able to spend quite a lot of time bonding with my two roommates, uh, but it also was very nice getting able, being able to spend um, a little extra time um, bonding with Kristen from Asta Cialo Mas. Sorry if I butchered that, I forgot to you uh, practice it. <laughs> um, so it was nice spending time with her. And then also um, on that very first day with uh, Shrinking Violet DS, uh, she lives there and so she took a few of us out to lunch and then also to one of the local grocery stores um, just because I had mentioned that um, I like to buy unique, well, well, unique, yes, but I also, when I, because I do a fair amount of traveling, and when I travel, I like to bring back unique gifts for my dog sitter or things that are locally made from wherever it is that I'm visiting. And so, um, t oh, I think it's Tammy, sorry, because I can't, I think Tammy from Shrinking Violet DS was very nice and uh, to take us to the local grocery store and so that was actually that was a very fun thing that I wasn't expecting to be able to do um, on the very first full day of the conference um, and Shrinking Violet DS was someone that I didn't know 
beforehand, but I really liked her, and so I subscribed to her. The other person that I didn't know beforehand, but I had heard so many people talk about, and yet for some strange reason, I never went and subscribed to her, uh, Joni from Smilin' Shrinkin'. Uh, I really enjoyed getting to know her and talking to her a few times. And now I have definitely subscribed to her channel. I don't know what I was waiting for. I mean, I don't know. You do things sometimes and you don't know why. Uh, so she's one of those people that, yeah, I've heard her mentioned so many times that I never subscribed to her. And she was just uh, a fantastically nice person that I can't wait to watch her videos and get to know her more. So... Let me talk a little bit about some of the people that I was kind of nervous to meet. So when I first started watching YouTube videos, I started off with watching the veterans of the community because I wanted to make sure that people who had this surgery actually kept their weight off for a long period of time. And so I wanted to see people that were several years out. I wanted to see what they were doing and what advice they gave in the beginning and what they were doing like, you know, once they got to their goal weight and then afterwards. And so to me, it was very important to find as many of those people as possible. And, you know, some of them, you know, everyone has heard about and a lot of people have mentioned them as part of their um, inspirations, YouTube inspirations. And so they also were my YouTube inspirations. And I was very nervous about meeting them because I didn't know, sometimes I, I doubt myself, like, sometimes... I don't know if I can even explain it. Sometimes I feel as if, uh, you know, someone who's accomplished a lot. So let's say, for example, um, VSG Tanya 2011. She's someone who, yeah, she's been making videos since 2011. And I have watched all of her videos twice. Uh, just because I like the way that she thinks about things. She's very methodical. And I tend to be that way. And so... When I, when I first started watching her videos, I thought, oh, she's someone that I can relate to the way that she thinks. And then, of course, when I saw that she was so successful, I had to go back again to watch her videos over again um, just to see, you know, exactly how she did it. So, um, so someone, for example, like Tanya, of course, from her videos and from what people have said, I know that she appears to be a very nice person. But, you know, when you have thousands of subscribers and probably people coming up to you all the time, I figured that if I went up to her, it would just be, I don't even know how to explain what I was expecting. Like, maybe she would just look right through me and not really see me as a person, like just another person who's coming up to me for a picture. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what I was making up in my head, but it's like, this is, that's what I thought about Tanya and, um, you know, Lauren Dayton from Lauren Losing, and even, like, Lindsay from Fly Girl Fitness. You know, I watched all of their videos, and I was very nervous about meeting them. And as a matter of fact, I mean, I guess I was only slightly nervous about meeting them because I was pretty sure that I wasn't actually going to go up to them at all. So I didn't even have to worry about it. I was just going to look at them from a distance and then not actually go up to them. And it turns out that um, on Friday night, uh, we ended up, a group of us ended up going out to this bar to do karaoke. And, um, you know, Tanya and Lindsay and um, Lauren, they all were there. And so um, I had had a couple of Cosmos, because that's one of my favorite drinks. And... Uh, you know, the first one of one of those three people that I mentioned, the first one that I happened to meet was Lauren. Now, earlier, I think I had seen her for a second, and I had just said hi, and I didn't say anything else, and I didn't ask for a picture or anything. Um, I just said hi, and that was it. But this time, I was standing at the bar, and then she happens to walk up to the bar, to, and she was standing right beside me. And so I was thinking, okay, this is your chance turn around and just to talk to her. That's like, that's what I'm like saying to myself. 
So I turn around to her and I, you know, I tell her how, um, you know, I'm like, you know, I know that you don't know me, but, you know, I'm a big fan. And I think before I even finished whatever it was that I was saying, she was like, I know who you are. <laughs> and she's like, I subscribe to you. And I'm like, well, yes. And she's like, well, I tagged you in one of my videos. And I'm like, well, yes. <laughs> but I still was thinking that somehow, because she has thousands of subscribers, like, why would she know who I am? Or why would she care who I am? Um, I don't know, as if I'm nothing. I mean, I, I can't explain my thought process. But I just remembered that I almost, I almost had tears in my eyes because it was like, um, I mean, it's crazy. It's almost like, did I not expect to be treated like I'm a fellow uh, human being or a fellow YouTuber? And so why am I so surprised that these people that I meet are just really good people who are happy to meet, you know, people who are fans or people, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. So it's like, so first I, you know, I met Lauren and that went really well. And then I met Lindsay and that went really well. And I had, you know, a lot of fun. At the karaoke bar. And so then, you know, it was getting late that night and I had avoided Tanya. <laughs> Um, even though I had already had these great successes, it was like, well, I'm still not going to go up to her. And I actually had mentioned something like that, uh, to Jody's husband, who really was so nice. I mean, not only is Jody so nice, but her husband, uh, was really nice. I had a lot of fun getting to know him. And I don't remember exactly what he said because I was nervous or whatever. Um, but whatever it was that he said, it was the additional push that I needed to just go up to Tanya and introduce myself. And so, you know, I was just like, you know, what, what can I lose? And once again, you know, I walk up to Tanya. She's kind of like in this circle of people. And, you know, I felt really weird walking into this circle thinking that I'm like breaking up their group or something like that. But there was nothing like that. I mean, the people were nice and friendly and smiley and then when I woke up walked up to Tanya of course she was so nice like truly nice not fake nice or pretending to be nice and um, that's where we took my most favorite picture of the whole event and that picture is going to be right here So you see the look on my face. <laughs> oh, my. wow, wow, wow. And then just everybody else. I mean, you watch these videos, and what has been so amazing to me, which is kind of crazy, is that, that everyone is exactly how they appear to be on the screen right now. So... The person that you see talking to you is really like the person that you meet in person, which of course, why wouldn't that be true? But it still seems like it's a surprise. I, I don't know why. Um, the only big surprises to me were, number one, that Jody was even warmer and nicer than she even appears to be, and Brit Brett. Um, yeah, I mean, Brit Brett, I, you know, looking at her videos, you can tell she cares about people. She comments a lot on videos. She seems like she's a very nice person, but I didn't expect her to really be such a nice person. Uh, so I got to have a lot of conversations with her that I really enjoyed the whole night. Um, I just, I met so many people and I'm so glad that I went and I'm kind of proud of myself for coming out of my shell a little bit to be able to even talk to these people. Now there are a few people that I still um, 
wasn't able to, to have a conversation with that I really wish that I had a, had a conversation with. Um, but, you know, there's just so many people and there's so little time. And I have to say that even the people that I didn't get a chance to talk to, I truly felt that if I had walked up to them and said, you know, hey, can I have just five minutes of your time? Can we just, you know, go over into this quiet corner and talk? I truly feel as if every single person would have been like, okay, you know, let's let's go over there and talk. Um, yeah, I, every person was just so, so nice. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was a fantastic event. I mean, there's even more things that I could say. So let me quickly just talk some more about some of the people that I met. There were a bunch more of the veterans of the community that I wasn't really expecting to meet, but I actually did at least exchange a few words with, and they really were very nice. Uh, Gastric Tiger was so nice. Uh, Phil from Fat King's Phil, I wrote this down so I wouldn't forget, uh, super, super nice. Uh, Kirk from VSG Kirk, I had gone back and watched all of his videos from the beginning just because there aren't all that many men out there. Uh, he was crazy, he, but nice, crazy but nice. Um, Sarah from uh, Nerd in Oregon, I had watched all of her videos. She's actually someone where I, um, and her and her husband were actually like the MCs for the Mad Hatter Tea Party and for the Sparkle and Bling event, and I actually did go up to her and I said hi and told her how much her videos had meant to me, but I forgot to ask, um, for a picture. I think it, it took everything I had just to go up to her and talk to her and then I didn't even ask to take a picture with her. So that's one thing that I really wish that I had done. Um, I got to meet Rhea from Rhea Reloaded. Um, I had watched all of her videos. And then some of the people who are further out from me but you know aren't as far out as those people that I had just mentioned. Um, I really enjoyed meeting Anna. Um, I had only recently started watching her videos along with Emma from Emma's um, R&Y journey. She was really sweet and I had just recently started watching her videos. Uh, people that I've seen all of their videos, um, Adrian, I had a few conversations with her. Uh, two people that I was kind of nervous about meeting, uh, Jane from C. Jane Shrink and SJ. Um, just because I have seen all of their videos and I just think that they're two really, really great people. And, you know, it's kind of silly for me to, to be nervous because they're so nice. Um, but I really didn't get a chance to talk to them all that much. Probably my fault because I, I, there, I, there were times I was sitting at the same table with them and I still didn't really, uh, talk to them because... I didn't know what to say. <laughs> okay, that sounds silly. Um, but it's true. Um, I was so surprised that I got, you know, two gifts um, that I really wasn't expecting at all. And so that was very nice. Um, thank you uh, for the two people for that. Um, someone else that I had forgotten to mention earlier, there was another YouTuber that I had heard of before but I had never uh, subscribed to, and that is Making McKenna Mini. And so I met her, she was very nice, so I just subscribed to her channel. And someone I had never heard of before, Schwig uh, Donna, um, I just subscribed to her. And I need another word than nice, but I don't know what else to say because that's what these people were. They were all very nice. Um, and so that's really going to be it with the people. Um, I had a really a lot of fun dressing up as Alice for the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. It's the first time in about 20 years since I've worn a costume, and so that's why I decided that I was really going to go all out 
out and um, try to have fun and you know get really dressed up and then for the sparkle and bling event which you'll see a bunch of pictures Um, I always really love getting dressed up and you know going out and putting on makeup and a lot of jewelry so that was right up my alley um, that was a dress that I actually already owned it fit well although you could you can't tell that it actually was just a little too big so this is probably the last event that I will be wearing the dress to um, so it was nice to be able to wear it one more time okay this video is long enough it was it was a great event I'm glad I went and thank you for watching <laughs> bye